hi guys welcome back today in this video i'll be showing you some of the unique feature that are still missing on the oneplus 3 and 3t which are running the android nougat 7.1.1 now the google each year releases a new software version and the pixel and the nexus phone are meant to showcase the latest software now whenever any new android version available the new features are been released to public all the manufacturers they take their os the new uh, open source code from the google they make a merge with their current os and they give that feature now still as you can see the oneplus 3 and 3t they have got the 7.1.1 but some of the unique features are still missing from both the devices so in this video i wanted to show you guys some of the important feature that are exclusive to the 7.1 but still the oneplus 3 and 3t haven't got this feature via the oxygen os in the form of the 7.1.1 so let's get started and check out what are those features now i'll be using google pixel xl the oneplus 3t just to show you guys the differences because I have some comparison to show you in terms of touch latency. So I just wanted to show you guys that thing too. So first off starting with here as you can see both the devices are updated to the latest Android Nuka 7.1.1. So initially starting with the app shortcuts. This feature has came uh, just you know in terms of inspiring from the Apple 3D touch. So this is called the app shortcut. So I'm just taking here both are running the default launchers. This is pixel launcher. This is one plus launchers. Now just taking an example Google Keep. Just long press here we can see you're going to get a couple of shortcuts here. New audio note whatever is there. If I just click on the Google photos I am going to get this thing here. Now if you're thinking how to get that feature still without waiting for the one plus to get get you those app shortcut features. So all you need to do just have to stall some other supported launcher i'm just showing you this no launcher prime now i have that launcher stop so i'm just going to give you guys quick demo so this is google key if i just do it here you can see i got almost same option except this new icon options everything is implemented so most of the things they have implemented so right here you can see this is extra launcher icons otherwise all things are same so pretty much all the supported applications so google play you get this feature so trying for the youtube say here it works on the dock on the most of the places now starting with the setting here as you can see we got the six number of quick tile here so many notifications here anyways so again you can see i got the six quick settings here but still on the one plus 3d i'm seeing on the five quick tiles now this feature came with the android nougat 7.1 not even with the 7.1.1 still this feature is missing in the oxygen os if you go to the default setting home page you can see there is a dedicated support section which is available only as of now to Pixel and the Nexus phones. Now, Google should not limit that to, but still that feature hasn't came to the any of the 7.1.1 kind of OS running based on that one. So still OxyNOS is missing that support feature. So hopefully they should implement their own support instead of the Google support. But as of now, OnePlus is not writing this feature. From a long time, I'm hearing and seeing this touch latency delay on the OnePlus 3 and the 3T. Just to give you guys a quick example, I have OnePlus 3T here. This is Google Pixel XL, both running the same Snapdragon 821. There's two gigabytes RAM difference. But just to give you guys a feel how much is the touch latency delay, uh, if you give you guys an example, the Pixel is uh, so sensitive that it can give you the sensitivity up to 48 milliseconds while currently it is working as of now 28 so it can be increased in the future so i'm just going to give you guys a quick section so i'm just going to change the wallpaper so three two one you can see the pixel is giving me a very faster response time again three two one so just switching back here and there so three two one you can see now if i bring my one plus three here again comparing it the same so three two one you can see both the devices have a similar sort of latency delays. 3, 2, 1. Always. Now guys, I heard so much question about getting the, the Google Pixel dialer on on any of the Android because it is such a unique. Uh, for example, I'm just going to give a call to my number. As you can see here, I'm seeing this background wallpaper too. It is so nice here. Even though uh, this is uh, my Nexus phone, I had this feature, so this is not exclusive to the Pixel, but it's still other manufacturers haven't implemented. So in this case, we are talking with Oxygen OS. So it should be very nice if they implement this feature. But they're talking about the messages is already available in the Play Store, but the Google call application is still not available, which is so unique. As you can see here, just making call. I'm seeing this background wallpaper, which is so nice to see that thing. The Star Google and the Nexus phones give you a feature in which you can choose your preferred network drive as the only type. What I meant here, as you can see, if I go to the preferred network type on the both the planes, as you can see, uh, we have the option of 4G, aka 3 LTE, 3G or 2G. While you can see here, this is automatic mode in all the two places. Now, technically, on paper, with this kind of only options, you're going to save more battery. For example, if you're living in a place 
where the LTE network is so strong or you can see 3G network is so strong not the LTE so on this type here first the phone will search for the 4G then for 3G but in this case here you can easily check out and see what kind of you, you know network is supported on your region so definitely on paper on technical terms it's going to give you a better network reception and the battery life with the Android Nougat there's a new feature which is called as a hamburger layout so right here you can see if I go to the any section here individual say Wi-Fi I'm getting this hamburger button so this feature came from the Android Nougat 7.0 but even though you know some places I did found that you know on some places they are eventually disabling this hamburger layout so sometimes it is so painful on the Android Nougat you are going to get this hamburger layout always all things here so you can see now this is uh, data section you got arrow button if you got used to if you have a bigger phone if you just keep on just sliding from downside you need to eventually go to the top side and do that so for example this is in the data usage or oh, there is another section called settings inside the app section go to the gear icon so you are going to get the same kind of feature like hamburger is missing from the some places the stock android nougat 7 notebook network gives you a better feature in terms of backup for the store as you can see here i'm just hiding my email account here so that's why you can see there's a lot of detail listing here it shows you the exact time and date apps call device calendar everything left like how much time for the photos and the videos how many how many photos are remaining but other manufacturer like oxy university are still not giving this so much detailed feature in some ways i feel my pixel feels to be more secure just to give you guys an example on the backup and reset as you can see Android Nougat has a feature or a peaking a small settings preview right here you can see but on the backup and reset the Android Nougat is not showing me on the Pixel and Nexus the email ID associated for my default backup accounts but on the other says for example Oxygenus if you try to check out on your phone you're going to see the email ID associated with your phone if you're going to loan your phone to someone else for a time maybe guys your email ID can be visible just a small feature I just want to show you guys here what I figured out on my day to day usage in another difference as you can see here the status bar has been moved out from the system by tuner but I personally feel status bar is not necessarily because everybody is not going to play with that still uh, if you want to enable that thing you have to enable system by tuner the same you can do that here but status bar is almost permanent here and also just a quick uh, note here if you are any kind of beta program so state system by tuner has been removed instead uh, there is a OnePlus laboratory so make sure to check out the previous videos for the detailed things so there it is guys these are the small set of features and changes that I figured out on the Android Nougat 7.1 that I had on a pixel but this, these features are still not working now a quick shortcut is one of the my important feature I use it daily because it is so good that's why I'm not running a stock launcher anytime so many people are asking why you're not running a stock launcher instead I'm running the Novo Launcher Prime because it gives me a very nice feature that I can really check from here so and also a quick shortcut is the same style I can get more features here you can see other features and still I'm not able to add that I have the six quick settings here still I can preview the date here direct settings layout here few things has been changed from here so there it is guys these are the other features and things so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this startup I'll catch you very soon have a great day